Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video, we're going to talk about .NET MAUI support for Blazor and why it's important and why should you care or if even should you care. So first, let's talk about what .NET MAUI is. .NET MAUI is the evolution of Xamarin Forms, which is a multi-platform development tool that allows you to create native applications in Linux, Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android, all with one code base with little adjustments for each platform. And just as Xamarin, Maui allows you to create the UIs using XAML, but in this case, it also supports Blazor UIs. So I know what you're thinking, Blazor application that can run in any platform? Isn't that progressive web applications? For those that you have not heard about progressive web applications, this is a application I created a few months ago that asks if I'm right or not. And of course the answer is always yes. This is a regular Blazor web application that you can install in your machine. So like if I, you click this little button, it'll install it. And now it's running kind of like I said, a native application. So you can see down here, it's like an application and it looks kind of like a Windows application and it all works. And if I open it, it's it appears here like if it's an application. But the difference is this one is still running in the browser. So if you can see here, it still has the extensions and everything. So it's just the browser kind of like faking its way as an application. And for the, some use cases, that might be good enough. For example, YouTube Music has a progressive web application that I use every day. But if you need to interact with some of the native interfaces, one of the ones I use a lot is cryptography since I work in a cryptography company or creating some specific files or certain programs and stuff that the sandbox of the browser does not let you, you might need a native application. But as mentioned before, Maui already supports SAML. So like, what's the point of having Blazor support? This would be useful when you already have a Blazor web application that you might need to interact with the operating system's native interfaces. This will let you reuse some of your web components, reducing your development time, while also keeping the same look and feel across your web application and your native application. So now that we have talked about what it is and how it's different from progressive web applications, let's talk about should you use it if it's ready and how to use it, because right now it's still in preview. So you cannot get it if you're just using the regular Visual Studio and stuff. You would have to install .NET 6 preview and Visual Studio preview, as you can see up here, my Visual Studio says preview. In the next few weeks, I'm gonna do some videos about how to do that. I still don't feel it's ready to even start testing. So that's why I'm doing this video explaining what it is. And then in a few weeks, I'm actually gonna do the video of how to use it. One of the reasons is in here, you can see the project and it has like most of the folders android ios mac but windows is still another project with a bunch of references this is supposed to get fixed right now it's preview 4 we are hoping that preview 5 will have it or preview 6 so until all of them are in one package there is no point of starting developing something that then you'll have to to change the project structure so i'm recommending to wait until then so yeah, that's the current status of .NET MAUI on Blazor. Uh, make sure to keep a close eye on it if it's something you're interested. I feel it's gonna be a great tool and hopefully this will be the last framework that Microsoft tries to do for, for cross-platform development because in the past they have tried different things and hopefully this will be the one that sticks. I'm very excited because it allows you to use your web development tools and skills to also develop natively so you can create ios applications or anything so that's my opinion on it what do you guys think please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one